okay? And, and that pattern is, is that one. Now, I don't wanna go too deep into, into this because I wanna move on to the next topic, which to me is the, the most exciting about, about this. So we can, we can go into the technical aspects uh, if, if you want. But many times I was told, you need to think outside the box, right? But you know what? Inside the box is cozy. I like it inside the box, right? It's warm, uh, no one bothers me. So, I mean, the box is the knowledge that I develop and the way I solve problems. So I don't wanna add anything else. So that's one, human beings like the box, okay? And second, help me out. I mean, what does it mean to think outside of the box, right? I mean, I have found that even people that told me think outside of the box couldn't tell me how to make it happen. So why didn't you wanna uh, fall into that? So if I am working on, if I am telling you that supply chains are going to be disrupted, I, I felt like uh, I wasn't being truth with myself if I didn't provide you a tool to help you analyze how supply chains, your supply chain will be disrupted. So that's one. Uh, the other one is um, supply chain people in general are awesome at innovating for cost reduction and service improvement, for efficiency, okay? So we operate more on the, on the rational side of the brain. And I, I wanna start tapping on the more creative side of, of the brain of supply chain professionals, including mine, right? This is, I'm including, including myself in this group, right? I'm not talking to, to, to other ones, I'm also talking to myself. <clears throat> and uh, then I stumbled with this phrase that hit me for a while. Uh, you know, still, it has hit me since then, but uh, it took me some time to understand um, and the phrase is by George Bernard Shaw, and he says, the single biggest problem in communication is the illusion that it has taken place. And yeah, but, uh, what, what that means is, what that means is in my head I have my ideas that are connected with everything in my mind, with my knowledge and my experiences, and then I convert that into words. Well, when I convert them into words, they already lose quality. My ideas lose quality, right? Because they are not connected anymore with everything else I have in my head. And then I share those words with you. Hopefully you listen to all of them and then you connect them with your ideas that are different to mine, right? So the chances of communication are, are pretty low in, in, in general. Uh, and, and, and this is why in management, the last 10, 12 years, there has been a revolution in terms of visual communication, okay? Um, and every time we can communicate something visually, it's better. Well, I found that there was no tool, so there was no tool about visual communication that relates to supply chain. So I put all these things together, I said, okay, wouldn't it be wonderful to have a toolbox that actually helps me think outside of the box, that uses the most creative part of my brain, okay, because I think that's more fun actually. I don't know whether more fun, but it's fun to use the creative part. Um, that actually helps me understand how technologies will disrupt supply chains. Um, and we can also use that for improve our communication, okay? Um, and all this in a context where technology is accelerating the rate of, uh, of innovation. So, <clears throat> questions up to here? That's, that, that, that could be one part of the message. 